One of the key questions that you need to be able to answer when trying to improve your website's SEO performance is what kinds of pages Google may be finding when they're crawling your website. One of the ways that we can answer that question is with the coverage report in Google Search Console. To access the coverage report in Google Search Console, you can either scroll to the coverage section of the overview page, then click open report, or in the sidebar, you can go to the index section and click on coverage. When you arrive at the coverage section, you'll see four main categories of pages, error, valid with warning, valid, and excluded. Error contains pages that, as the name suggests, have some kind of error existing on them. These pages will not appear in Google search results. If you scroll down below the trend graph, you can see the details. There are lots of different kinds of errors that Google may report on, including server errors, crawl issues, not found errors, pages marked no index, pages that are a soft 404, pages that are blocked by robots.txt. Now, some of these may not be errors that you need to or want to fix. Perhaps the 404s that Google is finding on your website are valid 404s. You intentionally and purposefully removed those pages, so of course you want Google to find that 404. Same would be true of no index. Perhaps you've intentionally no indexed certain pages on your website. That's fine, leave those where they are. Others might indicate a problem that you do need to fix, such as a soft 404 or a server error. Next, let's talk about valid with warning. These are pages that may show up in Google search results. However, they do have some type of issue present. Here again, if you scroll down to the details section, you can see what that issue may be. More often than not, the issue is going to be that the pages are indexed, which means they're included in search results, but they are blocked by robots.txt commands. If you do see this type of issue, you'll want to step through those pages and see if you want to maintain that robots.txt block on those pages. What this warning is telling you is that Google thinks there's still some value, some reason to include these pages in search results, even though you are preventing Google from seeing the page. Next up, we have valid pages. Valid pages represent all of the normal pages that you have on your website that you want appearing in search results. There's a couple things you wanna pay attention to here. First, you want to see how many valid pages there are. In this case, we have about 39,000 valid pages. If on your website, you actually have 50,000 valid pages, well, then you wanna know why Google's missing so many pages on your website. Alternatively, if you see 39,000 valid pages listed, but you only have 20,000 valid pages contained on your website, that also represents a problem and you wanna dig into it and understand what's going on. If you scroll down, you'll see details breaking out the different categories of the valid pages. We have two, we have submitted and indexed valid pages and we have indexed but not submitted. Submitted here is referring to the XML sitemap. Did you include this page in the XML sitemap or not? In the case of this website, 14,381 pages were indexed, but not submitted in the sitemap. If you see pages listed as indexed and not submitted in the sitemap, you wanna step through and look at those pages to see why you didn't include those pages in the XML sitemap. Should they be included in the XML sitemap, or are these pages a mistake that you do not want Google to find or index? Finally, we have excluded pages. Like error, these are pages that will not show in search results. As you scroll down, you can see lots of different reasons for the exclusion, such as a crawl anomaly, meaning Google ran into some kind of issue crawling through the page, pages are now indexed, pages had a 404, the page that Google found redirected somewhere else, the page returns a soft 404, or the page is blocked by the robots.txt file. What you want to pay particular attention to here though, are the ones that indicate some kind of issue that may exist with your website's content. That includes duplicate without user selected canonical, duplicate Google chose a different canonical than a user, and alternate page with proper canonical tag. Any of those indicate that some amount of your content 
might be seen by Google as duplicating some other page on your website. And Google is making determinations about how to handle that duplication. In some cases, Google is choosing a different canonical than you chose. And you want to step through those pages to make sure that the decisions Google is making will work for your website. And if they don't work for your website, then you need to get on that and try to fix your content to avoid that duplication and to better align your canonicals with what Google expects. With any of these categories that we've looked at, you can click on any of these items to see which URLs are affected. For example, let's click on the excluded category crawl anomaly. On here, we can see more details about the crawl anomaly, including the last updated date, which is the last date that Google crawled through and found this issue. We can see a trend graph specifically about this issue to see if this is growing and worsening over time. And we can see examples of the different URLs that are affected. That way we can step through and try to understand what's going on with those specific URLs. Now there are a few things that you wanna keep in mind. First, it's okay if you have errors or warnings or exclusions. What you wanna check for are excessive amounts of errors or warnings or exclusions. Or if you've had a recent surge, that indicates some kind of underlying problem with your website. If you have a couple of errors, if you have a couple of excluded pages, that's not that big of a deal. It happens and Google isn't going to penalize you for that. As well, you want to step through and see if any of these searches in errors or warnings or exclusions happens to correspond with any problems with your traffic or rankings. If you have a major decrease in traffic or a major decrease in rankings, at the same time you have a major increase in errors or exclusions, then obviously that indicates a bigger problem that you need to fix immediately. If you have any questions about the coverage report or need help addressing any of the issues you find in the coverage report, please email me at matthew at elementive.com. If you found this video informative and would like to see more videos like this from Elementive, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.